Shimai GTA chums, the prize right is the Seminole Frontier. It's not there because I've won it. Um, to win it this week, you just need to do um, for three days in a row, place top five in any Street Series race. That is brilliant. Street Series, dead easy. You don't even need to race because I think by default you will probably get that easily this week. Um, so this is a great little car. It's an SUV, not an off-roader. And I'll show you where it is actually if you want to see uh, how to buy it. 700 grand or something like that. So there she blows. 678 grand Seminole Frontier. It is a good car though. Um, off-road cars this week on sale though is the Anis Helion, which I would argue well, it is a better car, but that's a proper off-roader. But this video, right, is actually about off-road because I am going to take the Seminole Frontier off-road and give it a proper off-road performance test. What a treat. Aerials, what is that about? Oh, we can put an aerial on. Amazing. Let's put that on. This is all. This is how you get the original. Get it once you win it as a prize ride. I've not done anything to it other than performance upgrades. I've not lowered the suspension, but I have put the brakes on and all that business armor and all that engine. Yeah. Um. So what we want to do first is, um. You know what? I'm going to go with the colours. Um. Because my old CEO many years ago, Dave, had one of these, and it was it was like a red colour. He had two. He had, a, he had a Mondeo, and he had one of these because this is based on what's it? What is it? The Jeep um, Wrangler, not Wrangler. No, that's a rubbish one. This was a good one. <laughs> ah, look at that Torino red. It wasn't that. Um, it'll come to me eventually. Cherokee Jeep Cherokee. Very nice car. Very nice looking car. I think it's a good representation of it, as far as I remember. Grace red. That might have been the red actually. Might have been Grace red. What about Cabernet? A wine cabernet, a bit too heavy, but maybe grace red. Does anyone recognise the colours of these? Or maybe it was cabernet. Maybe it was that dark. It wasn't as dark as wine, because oh, there was two. You see, the Mondeo was a bright red. That was like somewhere like that, Torino or red. So it was darker than that. So we're going to go with that and assume it was correct. Feel free to correct me in the comments if that wasn't the true colour um, of the um, the Jeep. Uh, secondary colour. I'm tempted by a white. Um, I don't know why I'm looking at the. Um, we don't need that. We just look at the classics, don't we? They're cheaper. Um, we've got creek brown as a secondary. It colours up this bottom end. F traces all around, does it? Nope. Just on the arches. Okay. So we could go for the same colour. We could go for a black, um, which I suspect would be the best. Uh, but you know, I'm tempted by the ice white. But this might look terrible in the end. I'm going to put it on anyway because that was my initial kind of thought. I'm trying to make something interesting. This wasn't what his car looked like at all, the ice white by the way. I'm not trying to make an official representation for anyone who's worried about that. Fun time always. Black, yes. Um, liveries, that's what we want to look at. So we got the um, we come, we got a free livery which is the uh, old wood which is terrible. Um, we don't have it any like that in the UK. Maybe no livery is the best way to go with that white line. The canis, not, again it doesn't go with the colour. Um, this might go a little bit, the, the racing stripes, but no, not quite, not with this, we need to change the colour coordination. Um, this could work, but no, 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 dirt, I like the dirt look actually, that to me is um, kind of where we where we lie, but I'm not going to do that, I'm going to put none on, um, because that is the way forward. Don't worry, there's a lot of good customization with this car, um, so front bumpers, fenders, where do we start? Fenders, stock fender. Okay, stock is black. Body coloured for primary, secondary makes it white. Maybe it does need to be secondary. Or is that too much white? Let's just have a look at what else there is. Oh, the chunky fenders. Sen secondary XL fenders, yeah, got to be. Uh, front bumpers. Now, that looks good, the ram plate. His, his car didn't have that. Dave's didn't have a ram plate. He used to invite you around for parties at his, his mansion. Well, you, I mean, not me, obviously. Um, but he did. He, 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 did, he was a bit of a well. He used some. So there were substances. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more than that. Anyway, um, but but the other Dave had a good time at Dave's house having a party with Dave because the other Dave was much cooler than me. Um, box grill like that, but I think it was a bit boxier. That's more like it. That's the Canis grill. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, you can do it with secondary colours as well. I kind of like that. I think that's the way to go. Bonnet deflectors. Oh, to deflect or not to deflect? Well, he didn't have one, so I probably am not going to get one. White doesn't look right. It'd probably be just the um, 
primary, if anything. Um, let's let's not bother. Um, bonnet, inset bonnet, hood. Oh, look at that! That is that is a hell of a lump in it. That's good. Uh, I don't know. There's some pretty good options here. Ooh, what's that voice? That's uh, <laughs> what's wrong. Uh, I like I like that cowl hood. I think that's quite nice. That might be too far, you see, and that might be too far. But the cowl is a nice kind of um, subtlety to it. So we're going to pick that. Um, lights, livery, what else? Mirrors. Okay, we've got these kind of chubby mirrors. If you want to waste your money, then buy them maybe. But I don't see the difference really. They're not that exciting. But these are. Actually, the mud guards are a bit weird because they angle backwards. You see? But I'm still going to put them on anyway because it's an off-roader. Even though it says it's an SUV. Um, right, roll cage. We don't... Actually, I said off-roader, but we're, we're not going to do any massive amount of off-roading in it. But that white roll cage adds a distinct look to it. And it, though it isn't a proper off-roader, I am tempted. I mean, not not that one, maybe. Maybe it's that one. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a nice kind of look to it. Roof accessories. Okay. If we're going to off-road, we're going to do it to the max. And these are good. Light bar. I think it's got to be the light. What's the point of this? There's no lights on it. So we're going to choose the light bar. Rage kit. Yeah. Sidestep. Definitely. That's the one to go for. Because you get more ground clearance, you see, with that one. Yeah, excellent. All right, suspension. Now this is I did. I've I've done all the off-road testing, by the way, already. So suspension-wise, we're going to lower it to competition because it it is pretty good um, at off-roading with regards to suspension and crawling over rocks. Uh, turbo, we've done. Yes, transmission as well. Just double checking. Wheel type. We want off-road rims. Okay. And these rims are terrible, by the way. You need to replace these. And you can see the brake caliper is the same colour as the disc. So we don't need to have anything uber special fancy. But we do need to have something different. So the mil spec steely, I think, is probably the best. Let's just roll through and see. The other steelies are good as well. Just feel they're a bit more humvee. Concave steely looks nice, but maybe in a future build. Maybe in a future build we'll change it over. But those are good. And. Um, what else? We want to colour it up. So black rims are probably the order of the day. You could go white, but I think that's too much white. Tyres, bulletproofs, tyre design. I think all-terrain radials you need to because this is clearly an off-road build. And therefore we're just going to have black tyre smoke. Windows. Now we don't limo out an off-road build, but you can see it does look great. Maybe we'll go halfway just to slightly hide the roll bar out of embarrassment with a light smoke. There we go. We've done it. We've done it. We've built it. And they will come. Now let's do the off-road testing, then we'll drive around town. How's about that then? We're going to try and ford this river through the shallow section first, and then we're going to go deeper if it makes it through here. Oh, that's not good. It's gone SUV style, pulling wheelies. Oh, it nearly made it through. That was nearly okay. But, yeah. It ended up sinking just like an SUV would, unfortunately. Ah oh, well, there, there. Oh, how much does it cost for insurance? Let's have a look. Morris Mutual, of course. Morris Mutual, how can I be? Eight thousand five hundred. There we go. The sun's going down, so let's get our off-road performance in. It's all upgraded here. So first off, log clearance is pretty good. Pretty good ground clearance with stock suspension, that is. So you can see it's got no problems, no problems there. We're going to do the Chiliad challenge next and see how far we get up Mount Chiliad. And to see how that compares to other vehicles of a similar style. I mean, a lot of the vehicles I'll compare it to are actually in the off-road class. This is obviously a four-wheel drive car, but um, it is an SUV, which is a bit odd. Um, so here we are. Mount Chiliad, and we're off. So hopefully we get a decent run up Chiliad and remember how to climb this thing. It's been a while, but um, we're going to see how we do with this little jeep. Uh, making nice progress on the upslope, slow and steady, good grip, and just getting to the curves through the gully, Getting through these tricky sections, and then we're going to take a right hand up here. Come on, mate, don't do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
All right, not ideal. Not ideal. Bit of driver error there, but we'll we'll account for that later on. This is obviously uncustomized because the sun was going down. I had to smash it out before I got the rest of the customization done, but all the turbo and everything has been in here. If I um, obviously find in the customization process a turbo hasn't been done, which it has, then this video will be going in the bin. <laughs> 50 seconds so far. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we're at the top. Not the top, but the... Um, not the this isn't the summit, obviously. The donkey track. We're nowhere near the top yet. We've got to get through the donkey track first. Which is going to be a nice little diversion across this really precarious precipice. There we go. What a road. Imagine driving this to work. I think there's a road like this to work to um, a radar place somewhere in the world. Um, and they can't go up when it's snowy, apparently. Um, which happens <laughs> when it's high up. Uh, unfortunately, but that's the thing about it in this game. We don't have snow, do we? Except for one period during the winter, where it's guaranteed for a certain period. It's a bit annoying. They should have proper snow in the game, where it just happens at times randomly. There we go. 1 minute 42. That's a decent time so far for an SUV. There we go. We're on. We're on. Come on. Sub 2. 1 minute 50. That is, that is good. Um, now, if we compare that to other cars, we have um, the Weenie Rally, the Karin Rebel is a similar kind of time, and the uh, Sand King SWB was just slightly faster at 148. So it is a decent middle, kind of a middle, bottom of middle kind of off-roader. That's the conclusions there. So that's the off-road performance. Next, we're going to take it for a drive around the city to see how she does. Notice this is all customised to the hilt nicely with the lowered suspension now as well. So this should make it more effective in the city. So like a mountain goat, let's go down and take it for a little drive. <laughs> Without smashing it, look at those lights, they all work. Unlike the Helion, which is a real disappointment in the light bar department. Exact same light bar on the Helion, but it doesn't work. Amazing. Um, just on the Helion review. Um, but, that, speaking of which, it is comparable to the Helion in, in a few ways, um, but it is slower. Um, on at off-roading, but it is decent in town though. It's a similar square looking vehicle But if you've won it for free free is free um, So it's cheaper than the Helion. So for that reason, it's got to be a yes, surely But look at the driving. Around. Oh, come on mate uh, Why is my back window smashed so ugly? <laughs> so it's so ugly now, but um, It's just a nice little car for driving around not many people drive this uh, Canis Seminole around either in session so you're going to be pretty unique having this car for free only free races you need to not even win top five it's easy but if, it, if you're buying this as a discounted car then yeah it might be worth it but i'd probably say less so than the likes of the helion um which is a similar kind of price point but cheaper um, better value by far with regards to off-road kind of vehicles very nice um but yeah um what do we think then Cust customization wise it's got some decent customization and um, overall it is one of the faster SU SUVs at off-roading um, with the off-road capable ones but bear in mind the Novak is a far better SUV off-roader and that does Mount Chiliad in something ridiculous like 1 minute 42 there we go Helion does it in 1 minute 40 so Novak and the Novak will ford water which we, this does not do it does not cross water so it's a real shame that they're I know it's an SUV but it should do off-road really you know it's a Jeep it's a Jeep um, Cherokee it should be able to off-road so I don't see why that isn't in there but real shame about that Rockstar could have done a bit better there with regards to an off-road vehicle so can't be recommended as a pure off-road vehicle but it's more one that for a bit of fun time around the city, very casual off-roading. So that's why you want to you know, buy this or win this this week. Anyway, if you found that video useful, then do drop likes. But thank you very much for watching and have a most excellent day if you are playing Dust GTA.